Hey everybody, this is Lena. I am a targeted individual. I believe I've been targeted all my life. I was woke up by the Most High back in 2012. Today is July 5th, 2019, and I'm coming on kind of to rant. I'm very frustrated, upset, angry. I need to release it. And I know a lot of us are feeling this. We're being hit from every angle, from everybody. It seems like we're the only ones that haven't sold out to Satan. There's few, few of us on this channel, um, and then a few other channels. 144K? Probably. That's what I say. So today started, um, I tried to find a ride out of this place I was stranded at, um, where there's no buses, and I found a couple of people that responded, uh, a bunch of perverts, but one seemed on the up and up till he gave me some hints on who he was. The cop. Um, probably going to take me somewhere and I don't know what they were going to do. He came on with the name J. J.D. Badger. And I figured it out. The Lord said, look at the name. I looked up what J.D. stands for. Justice Department ba Badger. Then he went on to tell me he had some business to do and gave a street address. I looked that up. That's where the police department is located. I'm not a criminal, y'all. I, I honestly don't do anything wrong. It's like I might get angry once in a while. I might slip up and drink. I haven't drove in years. I have to walk everywhere. My my feet are, like, scarred. I don't know if y'all can see it. Everything's, like, beat up and scarred on me. It's, it's painful to walk right now because I have a puncture in my toe where they mug me and stole my dog a couple weeks ago. And my friend leaves me stranded steals my Bible so today I had to pay extra for this place that you can see <laughs> it's pretty frightening there's even burn marks in the uh, in the sheets but anyway I'm just thankful that I was able to get it because um, it's the holiday so woohoo anyway here's what happened to me today so, um, after dealing with that, then the whole place was overtaken because I guess they thought I was going to leave with J.D. Badger. Um, and once I emailed him back, once the Lord said, look at who, what his name is, and then he gave some other little hints. And he's a cop, you know, picked me up for a ride share, and then probably falsely accused me of something. They are trying to set me up, just so y'all know, which is what I believe they did to Frederick Lewis. There I am. Don't I look beautiful? I'm like, I'm down to some, it doesn't matter, but anyway, um, so my phone disappeared, and I keep thinking while well, I left it in the cab, um, I finally got a hold of the cab by a payphone, yes, I found a payphone, um, but it doesn't do, uh, it doesn't call other than in the, in the area, I would call a couple of y'all, but anyway, because I need help, um, I've got a stalker army guy next door, and I believe this is an undercover cop across the street. They're just waiting for me to, to, to just say something, because it's my mouth. They're trying to get me with my big mouth, and I finally let loose today, y'all, because I'm freaking sick of it. So I go to, um, I decided, well, I really need a phone. I'm just going to get a cheap phone from the dollar store, and uh, I go to do that. The phone doesn't work walk two miles in the heat it is so hot here it says the heat in the index is 107 i'm sweltering i drank like the whole bottle of water just on one way there and it doesn't work but i had gone to a cvs because i don't even have anything to wash my face with so i went and i got a couple little things there um like the, the face soap and a, some antiseptic, antiseptic, I'm still upset, and it's like almost midnight right now, because um, the phone won't work, and they took my money, it says that the money was processed, but it won't work, it says you haven't paid, so this is what they do, so still no phone, but I go into the CVS, I was immediately swarmed by, um, okay, it's still working, I was immediately swarmed by the manager who bumped into me 
There was plenty of room in the aisle, but she bumps into me. Then she comes back and starts sweeping right by my foot, like to get me out of there. And I'm like, I move over, she follows me. So the same woman is who kicked me out. I got kicked out of a CVS store, y'all. Yeah, I sure did, because I've had enough of it. And I spoke up today. And we need to speak up against these evildoers that Satan has taken over and they're using. And you criminal gang-stalking buffoons who are watching my channel, your time is short. You are done, son. And the sun up there is going to burn your aces. And yeah, Lena's mad right now because I'm on fire for the most high. And for those that are being severely persecuted, enough is enough. We're going to get our battle warrior gear, and we got to stomp these evils out. And I don't mean with, with violence. I mean with prayer, and I mean with speaking out against what's wrong. Stop cowering in the corners. Come out. We are powerful. They're scared of us. That's why there's millions of these buffooning, gang-stalking criminals, yeah, who sold out to Satan. Most of them are witches or Satanists, and Freemasons run the show, just so you know. This whole area is filled with Freemasons. They watch every single thing I do. Little old me walking by myself in the heat and they gotta swarm me. They try to run me over. Anyway, I go into the CVS, I'm harassed immediately by the manager, a woman, and she's in a red shirt, by the way, which I think that might even be their uniform. Imagine that. And, uh, okay, bring it on down a notch. Take it on down a notch. and. Uh, then a bunch of them all come in. The whole room, the whole place was empty. There was one other person in there. Because it's the, the weekend of the 5th of July, so they're already all out, right? This was like 7 o'clock tonight. And then they all came in. Everybody's in red. Everybody's swarming me. One lady's actually took stuff off the, the uh, rack across from where I was looking at the face of to peek at me and then make some comment about dogs. As in... You know, either saying I'm or my dog because she was hidden in my bag. Because I can't leave her anywhere because they'll steal her. Anyway, um, yeah, I'm pissed right now. You're seeing Lena mad because I've had enough. So after I get my little two little things that I was getting, it only took me like 10 minutes in there. There is a line. There was nobody in line when I got there. And y'all know what I'm talking about. There is a line of about 10 people. About seven or eight of them had red on. And one lady's laughing and started doing some weird witchcraft thing, stomping her shoe behind me. And they're going real slow on the register. Another lady like comes up, bumps me, then says she's sorry. And it's the same, a different lady, not the manager. There's a whole bunch of them that kept bumping into me, following me, saying ridiculous, rude things to me, uh, making me feel like I'm completely claustrophobic in there. And they each have one item they're gonna get, right? soon as it's my turn to get up there's two cashiers right both of them have problems with the people in front which are gang stalkers uh satanic sellout loser cowards that's what y'all are you're a bunch of loser cowards you couldn't stand one day in one of a true targeted individual shoes not one but anyway so um then they make it a delay 30 minutes for both people and they still weren't done so i started seeing some while they're all talking around me laughing one person's like speaking in some weird i think casting spell or something and i said you know what this is ridiculous y'all get a d minus for your acting skills game stalkers i said this whole area needs to repent is what i said and the one girl looked and she went <laughs> like that with a weird look they call the manager miss I'm gonna sweep in front of your foot, this far from my foot. Really? And there wasn't any, even anything there. Out of the whole store, she had to sweep by me wherever I went. That's what they do. But anyways, so they call her over and she's trying to figure out what's wrong and I said something else. And I'm like, wow, this just never ends, does it? And I said, this is really kind of ridiculous. And uh, I said, well, uh, people will be going into the pit soon, soon enough if they don't repent and turn to Jesus. And uh, I'm sorry, but I had to say something. And I didn't yell it, but I was saying it kind of under my breath. She heard me. The witch uh, manager, she goes, what's the matter? And I said, I'm just tired of 
this kind of stuff. And I said, there was nobody in line. As soon as I get here, y'all all swarm up. You know what you're doing like that. And she goes, well, you can just leave then. That's what she said instead of, what are you talking about? Or nobody's doing this. You can just leave then. And I said, no, I've been waiting over 30 minutes in this line. Right when I get up, it was actually about 45 minutes and then 30 more minutes for the last two people. 30 minutes to ring one item up. Yeah, on two registers. And she said, no, you need to leave right now. Put your stuff down and leave. And the whole store looked with a smirk at me. I'm not even kidding, y'all. As I left, you know I had to make my exit. I said, y'all need to repent in Jesus' name, gang-stalking criminals, and walked out. It's been a hell of a day for me. Then I get back, this lovely lamp, this thing, I don't know if y'all can see it. It's a real nice room, isn't it? For five, she went down to 500 for this week. I don't know if y'all can see, but anyway, it broke. It broke. Um, I sat down and I was exhausted from walking with Beignet because then I had to go to another store to find the face up. Never found it and was too tired from walking. I walked about 10 miles in the heat. Um, a couple of homeless people, well, I won't even get into that because we're, we're to give in secret. But anyway, I at least saw a couple of homeless people that had good hearts. And it's funny, they're homeless while the rich ones are the ones attacking us. But anyway, I just want to give a shout out that this is the life of a targeted individual. And we can't, we can't, I can't even get any food. There's no grocery here that's within five miles to walk. There's no buses out. I can't afford a $200 cab to leave here. So I'm asking for y'all's prayers to help me figure out how to get off this hell island. I'm not in Louisiana. I left. My friend stranded me here. My friend. And this is what they do. And then they wonder when we finally blow up. And I'm never like mean to people, but I'll just say, y'all need to repent. And I'll call them out on it. And it showed that they were all in it because they all like kind of laughed instead of going, what's going on? They all looked at each other nodding. Yeah, we're true, true woman and true man and the Truman Show. We're in hell, man. This place is hell. Um, I, I had a godly sister in Christ and I can't say who it is that's why I stutter stutter sorry I'm stuttering that had helped me last month already half of that money's gone because I'm having to pay 550 a week for a dump and I can't get anywhere else all right I can't go and live with somebody that's in the middle of nowhere because I can't drive and I don't want to rely on other people so please pray for what to do y'all I'm tired of it I'm worn down I am at the end they steal my dog they, they something happened to her the other day and she coughed up what looked like blood she's okay now praise the Lord they make comments death threats about my dog yeah well, you better watch out your dog take care of that dog now yeah that's what they do and just hateful looks wherever I go, people whispering, hey, and I'm not paranoid. I try to be nice to everybody, but it's just out of control, this, this evil that's going on right now. So I've never in my life been kicked out of a store. I was kicked out of CVS today, yeah, after I called them out on it. But hey, that's one for our team because there was about 20 of them against one of me. And I stepped up to the plate and they all cowered looking around, looking down. They wouldn't make eye contact with me until I'm thrown out. And I guess the head witch is also the manager. That's what they do. They put these head witches and Satanists in management and high up positions. How do you think they get it? They sacrifice children and, and godly loving people. That's how they get high up. Well, you're going to be low down in a little bit, witches. Your time is almost done. And I'm, you know what? I'm about ready to not pray for them anymore and just say, it's over, Lord. I hand it to you. No weapon formed against us will prosper in Jesus' name. This is the persecution of the saints. It's going on right now. And it's in between the, um, the full solar eclipse, which is on my lovely birthday, where I stayed in the room crying all day by myself. <laughs> and, but anyway, at least I had a roof over my head and the 17th which is coming up and i believe something's gonna happen i had a dream 
um, that I had a giant pirate boat, like an old-timey wooden pirate boat, and I was hoisting these green, bright green sails up, which that's not common. I, li I lived aboard a boat till they sunk that, stole it from me. But um, yeah, they've stolen my travel trailer. They've stolen my driving rights. They've stolen my all my furniture, all my clothes. They poisoned and killed my other dog. They shot my best friend in the head. They set me up for a false crime. Should I go on? My family has turned against me. I have no family anymore. Not even one of them tried to contact me on my birthday. They're living it up on the beach um, in Florida right now for the for the 4th of July with their new swimming pool that they just bought, but they won't even help me knowing I'm homeless. This is our plight. This is just what Jesus went through. All right? So we're blessed when we're persecuted for righteousness sake, for ours is the kingdom of heaven. And cursed are they who strike their neighbor in secret. And yeah, I'm mad right now, and I'm going to kick some fallen aces. And guess what? I'm seeing fallen manifesting in a lot of people. So I apologize that y'all are seeing Lena mad, but I have, I'm human. I have feelings too. And sometimes you just got to vent. Y'all are my family, and I appreciate y'all for listening to me scream. And also the other day as I walked into another store, the song that was on was, it's the final countdown. I believe we're going home soon, saints. Um, this hasn't cut me off yet. I can't believe it. As soon as I say that, no, take it back. Um, nice glasses, huh? Nice hair. I was going to get my hair cut because a couple of y'all donated. Thank you so much. But I, I have to save it for... Uh, it costs me $10 to eat every day because I have to buy convenience store food, which is really unhealthy and makes me feel sluggish and crappy. But there's nothing nearby. So please pray that I get out of here, out of this area. This is so evil here. And for Father to give me direction on where to go, and please pray for the lost. Please pray for those that can come to Jesus that don't know him yet. yet. And all you that are being heavily persecuted, you are not alone. This is called the fiery trial. We have to persevere. So we can get angry, but sin not. So even though I spoke my peace today, I did not sin. But I believe they're either trying to make me react to where, look at her, she's insane, lock her up. Or they're going to try to get me to overreact and then they'll say, look, she's violent, lock her up. Either the slammer or the loony bin is what they're trying. But I'm not crazy. And I'm not an evil, violent person. But sometimes you just had enough. I'm worn out. I just want some peace. I just wanted to have one thing go easy. Just one time I walk into a store and get my little cleanser without an issue. Or go buy a phone like everybody else and it works. No, instead they take my money on that little card that you get. And it says it works, but it says there's no money on there. So I can't use it. So it'll be a long ordeal tomorrow. I'm going to have to walk over two miles in the heat with a bleeding bloody toe because it keeps bleeding. It's a puncture wound from when they mugged me and took my dog, man. Hey, but it's a blessing because the Lord brought her back. There she is. She's exhausted too. My little dog. There. She made 13 the other day. She doesn't deserve to have to be drug around everywhere. She can't even run because they, they leave their pit bulls out. As soon as I let her off the leash, a pit bull comes out of nowhere or somebody drives up onto the sidewalk. That's what they do. So she can't even enjoy her life. This is the tiniest. This is the face of the tiniest targeted individual. They are so pathetic and cowardly that they target our pets. Bravo, witches and gang-stalking buffoons. Wow, aren't you mighty and strong? It takes a thousand of y'all doing, trying to cause us pain and agony, destroy our lives. What good do y'all do? What kind of life do y'all have? Every day you wake up thinking about how you're going to harm somebody, stop them. You know, they even try to make us fat and ugly. That's what they do. They send curses on our looks. They send curses against our finances. What a bunch of weasels. Y'all are losers, witches and Satanists. I had enough of y'all.
freaking can't wait to go home. I want out of here. I want to see Jesus. And he is real witches. And you know he is. That's why you get mad when we talk about him. No other religion, religion, right? Buddhist, uh, whatever, New Age. They don't get, you know, harassed and told you're just talking hate. Oh, shut up. I don't want to hear. Oh, Jesus. And they roll their eyes. No other religion gets that. Only Jesus. You know why? Because he's real. And he's coming back. And we who have been chosen, who are the 144K, we are going to rule and reign with Jesus. And we're going to be their judges. We're going to judge you, witches. We will be the judging angels. And we're going to ride alongside Jesus with white horses. All right. So that's my rant. I feel a little bit better. Like you said, with Sister Roxanne, breathe. Breathe in God's love. We can't hang on to the hate. You can, you can speak it, but get over it. That's why it says in the Bible, be angry, but sin not. Meaning, you know, voice your opinion, punch a pillow if you have to, but don't harm others like they do us. All right. Um... Oh, I wanted to say that I am seeing demons manifest. Uh, there are false prophets that actually one had me listen to a couple of his videos. Aaron Dougherty or Dougherty or something. He's a false prophet and made fun of Jesus. Sure did. Why? Why are you picking on Jesus if he's so goofy? If he's not real? If he's not who he said he was? Right? Why did they get mad and throw me out of the store? If what I was saying was a joke... They would just ignore me or go, what is that lady talking about? Instead, she got mad. Yeah, it shows that I'm speaking truth. And again, I heard this from another brother in Christ. Now I forgot the name of the YouTube channel. He's a he's a target, targeted individual, chosen individual, most highs, elect. He said, targeted individuals are speakers of truth in a world full of lies. So of course they hate us. Because we turn the light on to their evil. Light, light, light. And that's weird. I'm, this is the only light in the room. A light bulb broke, which didn't hardly do anything. But we have hailstorms in Guadalajara, Mexico, which was, I think that happened on my birthday, July 2nd. Um, and when I saw the video of it, which was on Jason 2, or Jason A, it's titled Unexpected Events Happening Worldwide. The red car they focused on being covered in hail, which looked like um, hail, hail, get it, uh -huh. which looked like snow. The license plate happened to be leaning in the front window like they put it there on purpose. JNR-21-66. And the Lord said, add it. Uh, 21, right, equals 3. And the 6-6, six, six. so there's the three sixes, right? And JNR Immediately I got Jesus in Revelation. The Jesus of Revelation. He's coming back. He's on his way. Um, getting back, oh, back to my, um, the boat the boat story the other day with the green, I was pulling up a green sail. Green symbolizes new beginnings and life. And I believe that that was the Lord showing me that I'm going to be the captain in his army. Not I am the captain, Jesus is the captain, but we're each going to have our own little groups. And then the regulators, which I've told y'all the Lord has told me about, he's showing me that that is what I'll be doing. And a boat symbolizes our ship going home in a ship. Isn't that cool? It was just a couple nights ago. Okay, in Florida, July 3rd, something fell from the sky. They saw it all the way to Keyworst. Too bad it didn't fall in Lynn's house. The woman that tried to set me up with the cops too and kicked me out at midnight with no reason and stole my money. And she's a millionaire, right? How do you think she got that way? Sold out to Satan. And funny, I managed to keep this shirt and I'm wearing it. I wasn't even planning about talking about her. But it says, I survived Irma getting. <laughs> I survived Irma. The Lord brought me through and that is a testimony in itself. Anyway, um, let's see. In India, there's been monsoons, millions, dozens, I should say. People killed, and the people were warned to stay indoors. It's not safe to go out. 
uh, the quake, of course we know about that, shaking and a quaking going on in California, which was the 4th of July, right? Um, and the quake was a 6.6, .6, and I keep being shown 666. It was even on my uh, account, my uh, number that I just had, my receipt, and I'm like, oh no, this is, does this mean that, you know, I don't know, I was like, oh no, does this mean that I'm doing wrong? No, it means watch out because Satan, his time is short. He's got a little time on this earth, and this is the time that he's, he's allowed to mess with us, the saints of the Most High. I'm not saying I am one, but sure seems like this stuff doesn't happen to many other people. And the fact I got my dog back in New Orleans.